Today we are doing a wee bit of exploring of the Beaver Creek Motel, at least that's what I'm dubbing it at the moment. It has seen better days as the majority of it is, uh, it has crumbled and is not of much use as a motel for anyone. You can't find a little toy car and a wee desk that uh, seems to quite consistently have dog tags for some reason. I've reloaded this a few times and always is dog tags. Anyway, the desk upstairs shows that yeah, there there isn't much need for it. No administration. They're not bringing in anybody. But if we, you know, take a wee bit of a note clip and we go round the corner, we can find something going on in here in the form of a single stim pack. I mean, I know yous are all super ultra completionists, so I guess you can say you picked up one of the uh, the harder to get stim packs if you don't have. Well, if you don't have a jet pack. I always lean towards Jap Pack, and you always amaze me by saying, Ah, oh, but Thomas, you can certainly get up there with Jet and a good bit of determination. And I love that attitude, because it really, it fulfills me in that regard. As for the rest of the motel, it seems that with this door, it was possibly planned that there was more indoor locations around Beaver Creek. Again, with a lot of game, or with a lot of Fallout 4, and of course Far Harbor, uh, like Concord itself, they kind of cut out a lot of inside sales because maybe they were pushing you on to go further afield. And Far Harbor is huge, huge. I mean, I'm up to 100 unmarked locations that have found and documented and just not recorded yet. And I'm barely through a third of the island, which for me, obviously, in the content in this channel is great. But see this vast area from Beaver Creek to Acadia down to MS Azalea. This area here is so rich with unmarked locations, so do stay tuned. This series is going to light up pretty fast, which is just great. Anyway, we'll be moving on to Beaver Street next. I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching.